Okay, <clears throat> so question number three here was as follows. Solve the simultaneous equation, and the simultaneous equation is the one below here, which is x three uh, x plus two y is equal to ten, five x minus two y is equal to twenty two. So to solve this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the method of uh, elimination method. So I'm going to draw a line there. And then because we have got plus 2 on top and minus 2 down, so I'm going to add these two equations. Okay, so 3x plus 5x will give us 8x. And then when we say uh, 2y plus negative 2y, it will give us 0. So we'll skip that and then we'll go to the last one, which is 10 plus 22, which will give us 32 so i'm going to write to equal to 32 then once i've done this then i'm going to divide both sides by 8 okay okay so 8 on top and it down will be cancelled leaving us with x so i'm going to write x is equal to then 32 divided by 8 will give us 4 okay so the value of x in these two equations is 4 Okay, now once I've done this, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one equation between the two equations. Any of them could can work. So I'm going to get the first one, which is uh, 3x plus 2y is equal to 10. So what I'll do is where there is x, I'll put the value of x which we found, which is 4. So I'm going to write 3. Then where there is x, I'm going to put 4. So 3 multiplied by 4 plus 2y is equal to 10 okay now i'm going to evaluate 3 multiplied by 4 which will give me 12 plus 2y plus is equal to 10 okay then i'm going to put like terms together now here so i'm going to have 2y is equal to 10 minus 12 okay then i'm going to write 2y is equal to 10 minus 12 will give me negative 2 then at this stage, I'm going to divide both sides by 2 because I want to remain with y on one side of the equal sign. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Okay. So uh, on the left side we of 2y, when we divide 2y by 2, or we can say 2y on top and y down cancel each other out, leaving us with y. Then I'm going to divide 2y. Now, I'm going to divide negative 2, divide by 2, which will give me negative 1. So, the value of x uh, in both uh, equations is, or the value of y in both equations is negative 1. Okay, let's go to question 3b.